In this video, we'll go over the K50 data link system. It allows us to store different kind of information on our Avers, which then we can use to send the target information to your wingman. And in this example, it's going to be two extra AIs. So it's really useful when planning an attack to get rid of the enemy AAA sites. Currently, I'm in a small test mission that I made together with my uh, number two and number three wingman right here. And together we're going to demonstrate how to utilize the data link system on this range in front of us right here. And in order to use the data link system, we're going to use this panel right here. And the top row buttons here represents which target you want to send. If you want to send the data as a vehicle type, SAM type, other type, or ingress point type. Ingress point I like to call as a reference point. It can be used to send uh, your wingman to uh, certain locations, uh, as we're going to demonstrate in this video. The second row represents which, uh, to whom do you want to send the target to. Uh, it's re reference to this panel right here. Since I'm the commander, so I can send and receive the data, and I'm the currently number one. So you cannot send the target to yourself, but you can send it to number two, number three, or number four. In this case, we don't have a fourth, uh, fourth wingman, so never mind that. And the uh, last row is just, uh, well, you're going to see in the video. If we take a look at our Abris right now and zoom in on the map, you will notice that there are two red circles with a line in front. And inside, I don't know if you can see it, but it says number two and number three. This represents our wingman. And if we zoom out, you will see that there's a waypoint here with a couple of targets. And if we select, if you zoom in on those targets, you'll see that I added a target 2 here and target 1. This represents two targets out of those six targets on that range here. I did this so I can select the nav target right here, select 1. And if I uncage my shvel now, I will slow the shvel sensor to those targets. It's just to make it a little easier, even though the targets are right in front of me. What we need to do now is we need to activate the laser and master arm on. And if we want to save, I don't know, since we have two targets here, but out of these six targets, we don't have a sword on the Abris, and we don't know what's, what's going on. This little square, what you see here, is flashing. That's because the target is selected. If I press number two, uh, the target number two will flash. And if I uncage my shell now, it will point to that target or I can point to this target as well. So we know that these two targets are already already mapped. And what what do we do if we need to save this target right here? We will zoom in and lock him up. Make sure your laser and master arm are on to get most precise reading out of the uh, out of the laser. And you save it by type. Since it's a vehicle, we're going to press number 1, which is a vehicle type, and we're going to press send to memory. And if we take a look at right, Abris right now, we will see the diamond symbol appear on the Abris, which signifies our target. And if we go to our second target, I don't know, let's say uh, this target right here, you lock him up, and then you press vehicle again, and send to memory, and the symbol shape will appear. And then let's do this one as well. Lock him up, press vehicle, send to memory. Now we have three different targets on our Abris that are showing up as a diamond symbol. And those are the targets that we save to memory with the help of our data link panel. And what we need to do now in order to save this data is to press this button right here. It's called Targeting Mode Reset. And it will uh, reset the Schwal sensor and save the data. And if, if we want to revisit all the, any of the data that we just saved to memory, all we have to do is press this uh, vehicle type here and it will select the first target. If you press it again, it will select the second target. And if you press it again, it will cycle through all the targets that you set, uh, that you previously saved. So let's say we want to select this second target right here. You press this button twice, which will then indicate that this is a second target because it's flashing. And you press this button right here, data link ingress to target. And once you did that, uh, when you unlock the Schwal sensor, it will be pointing towards that target right here. So uh, you can utilize this option to, I don't know, save a couple of targets that you want to take out and you don't have to look for again and you just press the target and ingress the target and unlock the Schwal sensor and there you go. It's all set up. I also want to show you uh, another option that I, that I think is really cool. So let's say that we want to change our change between this target and our nav target right here like by pressing one button. 
What we need to do is reset the Schwal sensor, press the navigation target and then number 2, and then unlock the Schwal sensor, and it will be pointing to the navigational target 2, as you can see it's flashing right here. And if you press um, uh, Schwal sensor on cage button, we can switch between those two targets just by pressing this button. And I think this is a really cool uh, thing to play around with. It's going to make, um, you can multitask really easily with this. Now that that's over, let me show you how to send some data to your wingman. Let's say we want to, if we zoom out of the map right now, and let's say that we want to position our wingman to be right here and right here to do some sort of pincer attack. We, what we can do is we can move our Schwal sensor and we can press the lock button to get more precise re uh, range and we can we can do the, look, we can lock this point on the ground right here and we can then press uh, ingress point center memory and as you can see it's a little house icon here and if we do the same thing but here and press actually let's put a little further away right here and if you press it again, send to memory. Then what you need to do is press uh, the reset button to reset the shawl and save the data to your address. And what, what we can do now is you press this button right here, which will make this reference point flash. And press number two, and this is our guy right here. And we can press send to memory. And then we can do press it twice to select this icon right here. And select the number three guy and send to memory. Okay, so now to communicate with your wingman, you will need to use a separate bind. Of course, if you take a look at the controls right here, uh, you have the communications menu and you use this to contact the ground crew and stuff like that. But to communicate with the people in there, you have to use this bind right here, SPU9PTT. Uh, and you select uh, that bind right here and you can then open the communications while you're in the air. We're going to use the R800 uh, radio to communicate with our wingman. And these switches need to be on in on position in order to communicate and send target um, target data via, via data link. And let's say flight, uh, go to uh, data link point. Flight, follow to data link point. Two, Roger. Three, Roger. and they will go to these points right here and position themselves and after they position themselves I can tell them to engage these targets let's say that we want to send these targets so if you zoom in again and uh, we have number two number three and number one target let's say that I want to destroy the number three target my number two wingman will destroy number two target and three will destroy the number one so I have to select the first target and it's flashing so I need to send this data to our my number three wing then so number three send data and I have to press this twice and it will make this flash and I'm gonna have to send it to my number two wingman send data and I'm personally gonna use the third target which signifies that this right here and if I uncage my shawl now I can see the target three at destination two So now that we got our wingman at the, their destination, I'm going to command them to perform an attack on each of their own um, vehicle types. So open the communication menu, flight, engage, F8, data link target, and F3, targets by type. Flight, engage data link target. As you can see, the target range is destroyed, and I hope I demonstrated well how 
K50 Dale link can be used. Um, saying that uh, my number three, my number three wingman crashed into the mountain area as he was trying to position himself to to that reference point. I guess it must be these mountains or something or Nevada terrain. It was really funny nonetheless. So yeah, hope you liked the video and see you next time.